Howdy, howdy, boys and girls. Welcome back to some more Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door. Uh, last time we just got the ground pound, and since the last time I recorded these episodes, as you can see, I updated my recording a little bit. I just thought this would be helpful. The, the gameplay itself is still the same size screen, but because uh, on a computer it only plays in a square, like... It's a game main, meant to be played on TV, so this gameplay is smaller than the actual computer I'm recording on. So I thought I'd actually use that extra space. So this gameplay is still the same size, I just moved it over to the right and put stuff on the left side, alright? Just thought it looked cooler, make the thumbnail look nicer, more neat. Um, as you just saw, I <laughs> used the ground pound to get through those X's. I'm supposed to go through this pipe next, but I still need to save the punies, so we'll go do that real quick. There they all are. Make them all follow this fake pedestal. Ground pound on this. Push them all down the hole. <laughs> yeah, I just, I really didn't like the look of that, all that dead space off in the corner of the, in the corners of the screen. Come on. And now you can actually see fully what's at the bottom left or top left or wherever I used to put my camera. I think it was the bottom left of this game. Oh, God. Why are they stuck in that corner? I remember them always getting stuck in the corner, so it's not really that big a surprise, but it's it's still annoying. There's only like three of them, but I need all I can get. There we go. Wait. Do I not have them all? Oh, they're behind it, really? <laughs> Do you see the little yellow orbs back behind the... Yeah, okay, I see. There we go. Last two. I was so confused. Oh, don't you dare. Get in the hole. Get get in the hole. Can I do it from the outside? Oh, God. <laughs> I just remembered how annoying this was. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't know how they didn't, like, light up the textures right here, but I, there's always a couple that don't want to go through. Idiot, why do you keep... I hate this. I hate this so much. Because, yeah, the second I go to leave... Okay, yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> 101 punies. And we do need every last one, so... Oh, I have to grab the orb now. Okay, let's get going now. Puny and Punio leaving the charge. Puniper is somewhere in there. It's hard to see anything with all these entities on screen. Very annoying. Oh, who did I leave? Just over here. There we go. That's all of them. Now we gotta do it again. Just as annoying as last time. But this time we can actually stand on this side. Push them in. If you're the same one as last time, you're a jerk. The orb. How did they... No, oh, they followed me off the edge of dirt. Of course they can climb down. What am I thinking? Take the orb before I go down. There we go. That was clean. It says I have one following me. There, now it says 101. Good. Okay, that was a little annoying. Sorry, I don't think we have to do that again. Oh, but there's definitely a pider over here. Nope. I guess not. Oh, I have Madame Flurry behind me. It means I can't finish this this turn. Ow! Hey, why? Don't do that. That's not nice. Okay, swap to Goom. Almost said Goomfree. I think that's the uh, Goomba from the first Paper Mario game. There we go. And now let's kill it. 
Oh, come on. I suck at this game. <laughs> it's official. I just suck at this game. Why is my cursor on that beauty? Whoops. Effect of the curse, decrease the damage you take. Okay. Do I take any damage? Oh, yes, I do. So I only decreased it by one. Oh, don't tell me I have to scan the mini ox, too. I don't really want to. I just hope it comes with. There we go. Got eight for that one. We actually might finish this area in this episode. I should probably level up again before the end of this. Oh no, there's a big puzzle in the way. I probably won't. Go. Last one. All right, all done there. Fifty-five star points. Getting to star points too slowly. <laughs> nope. All right, guess no hidden items. Okay. Oh, don't lose them. Come on. You too. There we go. Oh, I'll come back for him. You know what? What is there even to do? Oh, I can jump across here. That's why. Hey. Uh, let's go back up. Let's see what was on the other side here. A button. Okay. So I need to get coops. Kick him out there. Oh, too fast. <laughs> and he drowns. And my punies drown, because I just realized I left them down there. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's in here? Shrink Stomp. Not a bad badge, but... Got a random dizzy dial there. Is there? Sometimes there are star pieces hidden in the ground. Okay, good not. Okay, good. Yeah, they all come back. Can I get that? Oh. Uh. Y'all saw how useful shine sprites were, so. It's also cool how they brought back shine sprites just for this game. Like. Did I ever tell anybody I'm an idiot? Um, but no. Like, in every other 3D Mario game, they have, like, usually stars. And hence, crystal stars in this one. Work on you? Nope. They brought back Shine Sprite specifically. Which, I mean, it's basically just a big sun. Basically a star. Ooh. Big elevator. <laughs> that actually morphed into the ground. Oh, so that's how you get to this room. So you knew of the room, you just didn't know how to get here. All right, we're gonna save here. We're gonna make sure it's understanding everything right now. Okay. Just gotta make sure it's all good before I save. Oh God, Lord Crump. It's always so annoying. You should just leave me alone. Everything's got to be around here somewhere. 
Burr, what's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. Get it? Because it's a hundred beauties coming through. Or not. Excuse you. You got stuck behind a bush, really? Nope. I can't tell where he's hidden. Is he here? Oh. <laughs> this place looks awesome, though. How do you guys stop getting lost, please? Wonder if it wouldn't activate if I didn't have all the beauties. There it is. There's our emerald crystal star. Mario, look, 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 look. It's the crystal star. And Lord Crumb just snatches it. What? Did he just. Hey, what's going on here? Buh, buh, buh. Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom, falls right in my lap. Is he not? I thought his name was Lord Crump. No, it couldn't be, because he's not Lord. Or... What is his name? I don't know. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm going to repay you with a little present. Know what it is? A <laughs> bomb. Oh, just a little something I'd like to call a remote time bomb detonator. What's the point of having a remote and a time bomb? I'm going to use this to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. 300 seconds. I mean, at that point, just have a detonator. Did he just say, hey, hurry, we have to get out of here now. I don't know if he said now. You remove the puny orb, let's go. I don't know why I even bothered removing the puny orb. I could have just left him there. <sighs> Come on. Die already? Oh, I don't have Goombella. Yeah, let's switch to Goombella. If you can't tell, I'm not worried. <laughs> Especially because they're that dumb. Alright, come on, hurry up. I do want to not sit here looking at loading screens the entire time. Press that button. Star piece. Anything else important? So I just realized I'm low on FP. Okay, yes, we go this way. Just because I played this game before does not mean I know where I am. It has been a while since I played this game. Of course, not too long, because you've seen the other save file, but... Long enough. I'm going to lose some punies here. I'm not wasting this time. Are you kidding me? You guys can stay over there. Alright. Heal. Save. And with over 150 seconds... I already got to the end. You won't be going any further this way. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't think my age is the thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Granny? You got no ear hair tickling your brain or what? Uh, oh, what the... Ouch. Can't take another step. Oh. <laughs> what a time for my stupid back to start aching up. You hot-headed old coot, you dare to find me? I could shine my boots with you. Stop right there, jerk. Who is it? Yeah, it is her. You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Now give us the crystal star and drag up. 
and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever. Oh, the, cl the clock's still going. Brr <laughs> You guys are nuts, you know what? Oh well, I guess I'd better shut off this timer. Okay, you pass one pummeling coming up. An extra fist. Metal fist, that is. That's... Let's see, if anything... That looks exactly like the detonator. Wouldn't be surprised if you just nuked the whole tree on accident. Oh wait, Magnus Von Grapple. His name is Magnus, that's what it is. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. I always thought this boss was so cool looking. Now looking back on it, it's like, that's so dorky. <laughs> It's actually a lot like the bosses you'd find in, like, Origami King, but, like, not as cool looking. The Origami King bosses look a lot cooler, but they're kind of boring. <laughs> anyway, not going to talk about Origami King. When I'm done with it, I'll give a full review of it, but not now. Keep your eyes open. I don't want to. This guy's a joke. Like, literally. <laughs> I don't know which one to be more. It's because Spin Jump is the new... Yeah, I'll... I just got Spin Jump, so I'll show you it. One and three. He does have one defense, I believe, so... I've technically would have done two and four, so that's a lot. That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the x -Nots. Lord Crump drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is two, and defense is one. The most effective attack is that one takes advantage of its size. A smothering stomp. It can also shoot at his fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have max HP of 2 and attack of 4, defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is I can't tell if it looks cool or really, really stupid. <laughs> exactly. Here comes suckers, Magnus Von Punish. He's gonna just step on us. Nope. No, he's not. I apparently remember the timing for that. I think the hammer's gonna be most effective against this guy. Because anything with a defense usually is best just to hit it with a hammer. Um, yeah, no. I'm not going to use FP with her. Actually, no, my jumps are stronger than my hammer now. Because my hammer's not upgraded yet. Oh, it ain't over yet. So this is so awesome. Check out what else this man can do. You're going to love it. It might not work out too well for you. And now I have no hands. Not that it matters, but... There, see, already dead. They do have a high attack, though, so it would suck if they hit me. They're very easy to deal with. Earthquake, I don't know the timing for this one. Yep, thought not. I mean, I'm still at almost full health. I've already almost got him down to half. Yeah, no, I'll have to just go with... See, that did four. Let's see if we can do more than four with this. Nope, exactly four. Mario's like slightly off screen, so it's hard to time for me specifically. Okay, I don't really want to get hit by that, but also, what am I getting thrown at? Oh, nope, that's a rock. Oh, he didn't run away. He stayed. Usually when you hit him like that, they run away. Oh, well, fine. Kill the fist first. I don't want to take all that damage. Uh, another earthquake. Nope. Still wrong timing. Okay, I can kill him next turn, though, so that's good. Not good. Can't last. That's what he said. <laughs> there we go. Got that one, too. Alright. The reason I said I can kill him this turn is because of this. So I still had a good move up my sleeve. I definitely don't use these enough. But I also kind of don't like having such a little amount of star power. So I'll probably use them more later. There we go. I think that's six damage. 
Yep. This could be the end. Is it gonna explode? Oh, I didn't level up. <laughs> no, Magnus won't grapple. How could we lose? Herf, herf. I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crump, he is Lord Crump, is he? I suck with names so bad, I don't even know at this point. Lord Crump summons us. Retreat, heads up, run away. See, if they all attack me at once, they might actually have a chance, though. Nah, I could probably still beat them. <laughs> Who am I kidding? If anything, if, like, every enemy in the entire game could, like, attack me at once, by the end of the game, you could probably take it. Just do enough. Ooh, clock out. What does that one do? I forgot. I honestly don't use half of these star power abilities, so I, oh well. But if you think about it, most of the basic enemies only have like six or less health, so if you use an Earth Tremor, they're all dead. So already with my current abilities, you know most of the enemies in this game are useless. <laughs> but this may not be the last our hero appears from the vile Exnauts. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop at his efforts. I hope they do. They are free experience. And because we finished another area, get a little intermittent cutscene going on. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Thought he would come in. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Oh yeah, we ran through both of them. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Fortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. It's Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x not. What is the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hookjaw, Castle, Bugly Woods, and one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. So now we know where most of them are. Not even most, almost half. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has the map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. I like their little feet noises. Like a little clomping as they go. Plop, 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 plop. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. Like, why is the sky blue? Why is the sun so hot? <laughs> Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? Okay, that's an equally stupid question, so... I was kidding, but... Oh, it doesn't seem to open. Oh, maybe it does. Just gotta get tax attention. These are probably the cringiest parts of the entire game, though. Because not only do they take so long to do, it's, you're literally watching a rom-com with a robot. It's so boring. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. That mail I sent Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know about love? Dumb computer. I expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? You expressed regret. Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? You in trouble, Tech? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd when you said that I had an impulse to dance with you as well. 
how my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. <gasps> she admitted. She admitted that she's in love with somebody. She knows what love is like. She knows. Oh, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. Well, he wants to dance with her. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. I thought this scene came a lot later in the game. Hold on. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is like walking into, like... <laughs> Walking up to your crush and, like, I have a doll made of you. <laughs> like, is this not... Is this not weird as heck? Would she not be, like, running from the room right now? <laughs> oh, alright, I guess. Nope, she's just accepting it. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. See, I really feel like embarrassing this man right here. Like, failing all the button prompts, but I know for a fact whether you fail them or not, it doesn't affect anything. So I'm just gonna do it anyway. Wait, okay. I forgot the layout for the GameCube controller for a second, so I had to look down. <laughs> Okay. I think I got it now. But, and now it's over, of course. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the second the second I'm like, okay, I think I got this, I can stop focusing. <laughs> Mess one up. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. This is... Is this impulse, I feel, the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I naturally have a very monotone voice, so that's actually surprisingly easy to do. <laughs> I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? <laughs> I like how Peach just at the end just flailed randomly. I didn't realize I was controlling her, not Tech. You're a weird computer. He really is. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. I am a learning computer. I must learn. Save all the game for yes. I want to. That's always so awkward to go through. Oh, hey, Bowser made it to Pedalberg. The step behind as usual. Pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Oh, she can fly. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach is spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Wee hee hee, my lord. That's all super. Is he a super Bowser? One could say a giga Bowser. No. <laughs> do 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 do. I don't know why I like these sections, though. You just burn through everything. No x knots. There we go. That's literally all it was. Down, down. Finish. Oh, that kind of reminded me of Monkey Ball. It sounded like it. I should get that game. That's what I should do. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalbergen. Eek! Hide, everybody, hide. So they do know it's him. But see, aren't isn't he like? That's the thing, though. Everyone like runs and hides from him in this game, but like he's isn't he king of the Koopas, and most of the other minions as of that. What a wars. Yes, hide chickens. I have no need for any of you. 
What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there! It's obviously a fake. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. Oh, this is cringy, too. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser the Mighty Koopa King, offer my greetings. It's a picture. No, no, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. When's he gonna realize? Clearly she's over so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> this... <laughs> This reminds me of, like one piece how like every single character has like their own weird laugh i see i see how how refined how elegant awesome <laughs> i suppose it could live with a silent princess it might even have its perks you know no what do you want my my life's treasure i'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster Poster. Uh, oh goodness me! Didn't see that coming. Great. Oh, I didn't realize the music did that. Just great. They look like a huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. They're called weebs. Thank you. At least I can save after that, so I don't have to do that again. Oh god, they're so cringy. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. No problem. I just stepped on some people. We can go back to our peaceful ways of life now. You yeah, know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please, come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything from happening... Anything like that from happening again. Thanks for throwing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See you, Mr. Mario. What, what did Mario say? Oh, anyway. Finally done with this area. I always love the look of that tree. But that area is so annoying. Like, if you've ever played any game ever, <laughs> where you have to, oh, what's it, escort somebody? Someone's mailing you. Ooh. It's literally 101 escortees. It's the dumbest thing ever. You lose them so quick. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please, no, I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? Yeah. She admitted she knows what love is. <laughs> Which means she probably loves Mario. Which is very weird. Hit it! There we go. Okay. Oh, Goombell's useless here. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I'm just do this to get them out of the way. I never actually realized that, that she actually admits she knows what being in love is like. Because again, this is a child's game, more or less, when it was originally made. Of course, it has a lot of nastier jokes. So it's not fully. There we go. I could have stopped at four, but we're going all the way up to six, I guess. I get eight for that? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm one star one away. Okay, we can't end the episode until we get that. And I can't fight you, so I'm not going to even try. I don't want to fight you, but I guess I will. Oh, there's one of you guys behind him. Oh, perfect. Oh, yay. Um. If anything, I'll just kill you? No. I don't want to do this. <laughs> All right, fine. 
Why? Why? Nope, still can't block that. There we go. Can get that one, though. Just hit him, Coops. That's all I ask of you. I didn't ask of you for anything in this entire area. So just do your job, please. And, of course, the tree falls. Yay! Finally, we level up again. Oh, that means I get my FP back anyway, so there's no point waste, like worrying about wasting that. Alright, let's get out of this hellhole. I don't want to save, I just saved. Eh, I waste time. Alright, so now that that area is done, and I'm going to go quickly turn in the map because I'm right here anyway. I think next episode I'm going to more worry about the troubles in Rogueport. Is there something behind there? No, I already got that. That was a star piece, right? But I think there might be another star piece over here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. And we finally can learn what's behind this. Ooh, is that a heart? Yes, happy heart. Now my partner can have one. If I have the BP for it, I do. I'm gonna put charge in there just for next time. If I want it. Alright, let's go. That is one good thing Bollywoods was right next to this. So I don't have to waste too much time. Yes, yes. You gotta go through this dramatic sequence every time. Dramatic blinding sequence. Alright, where do we go next? I've actually kind of forgotten. We already go to Glassville? That's the third place? I'll take it. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's my favorite area. Because there's literally nothing but fights. Oh, mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. Oh, my, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? Hmm, I don't know. They should give Mario, like, a full beard, too. <laughs> he look really cool, then. That means that beneath this town, the year, thousand year old ruins may remain intact. What do you mean? What are you talking about, frankly? What are you doing? Did I miss somebody? Why is there something in the trash can? And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... That's not what? Kind of mixed their two voices there. I don't know! How do you expect them to know? Frankly, please... I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed for around the time the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this darkness stole the key, stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. What? I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an, well, you know what they're saying. Because <laughs> they can't say ass. Assuming we'll just make an ass out of you and me. Uh, oh, yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville? There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ost ostensibly, families go there on vacation to allow and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world rage on the bouts. Of 
floating city, you say? Mm -hmm. So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. Problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Mm, I don't know. I guess we don't have much choice. Right on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. <laughs> west side? Head west from Rogue Pod Main Plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzer. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumor about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. What did I miss? Found a scrap of paper in the gar garbage can with info about mini yucks. That's why. Okay. So I forgot I did have to scan the mini, uh, mini yuckses. How many shine sprites do I have? Did I miss one? I hope I didn't miss one. I have five, though. Welcome to the home of Merlin. The super magician foresaw your arrival. Okay. Okay, that heals herself. So actually, I don't want that. You shield shield to protect Maro. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get Coops's. Yes. Because Coops is useful. More because of his defense and protective nature. I can put him in front, and make him take all the damage. Flurry's just useless, though. I don't even want to upgrade her once, honestly. And you may go. Thanks, I guess. Alright, so now Coops has 15 health and shell shield. 4 FP and it drops a shield over both Mario. No, is it just Mario? It might be Mario and Coops. <laughs> and there's Luigi with a burnt Coop or Blooper. That's the word, Blooper. Probably threw him in a volcano somewhere. Progress was safe. Alright, well, don't do that. That's all for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment on anything I missed or anything you want to see. Like the video. So I know you like seeing this series all together. I got a comment a couple videos ago about someone who loves this series. Whoever you were, get this game. <laughs> I kind of uh, replied to that in the manner of speaking, but just thought I'd reiterate that. Um, as you can see, I have my uh, Twitter channel here below the uh, face cam. So you can check that out. I kind of put it in the description of every video, but no one checks it out. So I thought I'd put it there now. Thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe so and hit the bell icon so you get all the notifications of when these videos come out. Thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video, Eric. All right? Peace.